OK, next up, wine break. <laughs> this is going to be one of those episodes that really does like go the full. Whoop. You know what I'm saying? Hi, I'm Fairy Day. We're here in the Lunchy Test Kitchen with the cooking show. And what we're making today is something called cannelloni slash manicotti slash I don't know exactly what we're calling this. Old Cliff gets mad because I constantly do red sauce with everything. Red sauce is my mother's sauce. I was like, okay, I accept the challenge of not using red sauce in this recipe. And I wanted to make it like kind of summary. It's pasta that we are filling with a combination of mozzarella cheese, ricotta cheese, and cooked squash and zucchini. And it's gonna be lemony and bright. And then we're doing like a really nice fresh salad over it. I slid into the DMs of Katie Parla. You might know her from videos such as Stuffed Mussels. I can't remember. But it's asking her what the difference between manicotti and cannelloni is and what this is. And let's see her response. I go, hi, question for you. What's the difference between manicotti and cannelloni? And she said, so funny you ask. I was just thinking about this. Cannelloni is a word recognized across Italy. Manicotti, if I recall, is a regional way of naming cannelloni. Manicotti is the word Italian Americans use to describe cannelloni as well as crepes filled with ricotta and meats. And I said, interesting. I'm making a dish where I boil pasta sheets and cut them into squares, then I roll them with cooked zucchini and squash that's been mixed with ricotta and mozzarella slash herbs. Do you think I should call it cannelloni? Or maybe manicotti is more accurate since it's not Italian origin per se. She goes, ugh, this is hard. I think you can call it either, TBH. That's what she said. And I said, okay, I don't want to anger people, although I'm sure I will regardless. Ha. Huh. Zucchini and squash, manaloni. Because that's what Peter is. He's a man alone. Aww. Man alone. -y. Just kidding, just kidding. First things first, we're gonna make our filling. And I'm gonna cube the zucchini. It's so weird, by the way, how like slimy it gets when you cut it. It like sticks together. What is that that comes out of it? Virginia, Google it. Like starchy liquid. Starchy liquid? Yeah, they're like have a lot of water in them, so it's just like letting out the water. Interesting. Okay. So we're gonna do this. This is called a brunoise. It's a fine dice, whatever you wanna call it. So we're gonna heat up some olive oil in here. Nice lick coat of it. So we've got our squash, using yellow squash. We're gonna grate this. This is a textural thing. Making it rain. Listen, that sizzle. Ricotta cheese. That can go in there. I'm gonna put almost all of my cheese in here, about one cup. I'm gonna save about a quarter cup to put on the top. Here we go. Pepper in here. A little bit of salt. One whole lemon I'm going to zest right in. And then I'm gonna juice it in there as well. I always use my gut to like hold my zester. When you catch it all like this, it's all held. And you can just go like that. And you should always ever use your rasp or your microplane zester that way. So you just go whoop, 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 one direction. One direction, it's not just a band. I'm gonna use this guy. And you want about two tablespoons of juice in here. And I find that actually, and I'm not saying this is true for every lemon, but lately, every time I've cooked this recipe, I've literally measured the amount of juice from one lemon and it's been two tablespoons every time. It's kind of cool. Mix her on up. It ain't over yet. So this is looking good. It's getting a little bit of color. It's softening up. I don't want to cook it down to like a mush. So I'm going to say that that's good and done. I'm going to go like this. Boop. Just going to mix in with the zucchini. The happy little friends that they are. So squash versus zucchini, yeah, they're so similar though. The shape is a little bit different, the color obviously. Oh, you hear that? All zucchini are squash, but not all squash are zucchini. Set that aside to cool. Mmm. I put them together in my mouth separate right here, but in my mouth they were together. And they tasted great. Ooh, a lot of pepper in that bite. Okay, let's go outside. Let's pick some shit from the garden. 
Are you ready, Peter? Go to the garden, to the garden, let's go get some vegetables. Spinach and basil and who knows what else right out the store. Over the floor. I ruined it at the end, I don't know what that was. But we can keep going, let's keep going, let's go do it all. We're gonna need a bigger try. Do you get that reference? Where's it from? You don't, you don't, you liar. I don't get it. Jaws. Uh, They're like, I think we're gonna need a bigger vote. Uh, Bing, bum, boom, boom. Bleep, blah, blah, blah. Where is my wine? I need my wine. <laughs> <laughs> Virginia's on it. All right, we're done. Done. Where's Peter? What's Peter doing? Wait, stop for a second. Just look at Peter, just like off looking in the distance. All right, we're done. Okay, let's go back in. And we're back. Wine break. Okay, this goes into here. All the juice and all, you can take the juice out if you want to. I'm making a mess. We're gonna mix it all together. We've got our filling ready, and now we're going to cook our pasta. I cook my pasta, it only takes like three minutes. We've got our pasta. We're gonna cut these into like six inch squares. So roughly like that. Watch how smart I am. Just like this. We're gonna go like this. Then we're gonna go like this. These get used for something else. So we've got about seven to eight squares of pasta. And we're just gonna boil it. Salted water, right on in. And fresh pasta doesn't take very long to cook. So this will probably be done, like, we're talking like three minutes or so. I literally couldn't have chosen a smaller utensil, but whatever. So this is nine by 13, a little oil in the bottom. Pasta is cooked, this is going off. We're gonna drain it and run it under cold water. Tricked you. So now we've got our cooked pasta sheets and our filling. And we're adding in a good amount. Okay, ready? Just like this. So this is our ricotta, our mozzarella. I'm gonna roll it just like that over towards you. Tuck it in. Look at that, nice little manaloni. Like I want to not cook when I entertain. So this is one of those things you can cook ahead of time. So when your friends are over, you can like hang out and like visit with your, you know, your, your, your company, your guests, and not like be in the kitchen the whole time while your friends are having fun. Let me shove that one in there. Look at this. Ta-da, perfect. Okay, now we got our little bit of cheese. Sprinkle it over. This cheese, it's gonna melt and like cause good color, but then also the pasta is gonna get really nice and crispy, and I really like it, it's like nice and crunchy. And the oven we go. 375, about 40 to 50 minutes, depending on your oven. Ooh. All right, this is perfect. So you can see, look, it's nice and crunchy, crispy there, but like the cheese is melted just enough. It has like that nice color. I really am using the cheese on top just for coloring it. We're gonna make a little salad to go on top of this because health. Just some lemon zest, a little bit of olive oil, salt, and pepper. We have these guys, these are going in there. So this is getting tossed. Okay. We had this out in the garden, this like really nice oxalis. I don't even know what it's called, like flavor. It's just delicious. I love it. We have mustard greens and our, our friend coriander flowers, cilantro flowers, rotten fennel, more of these oxalis flowers. This is nasturtium. Do some of that on there. Oh yeah, the parcel, all this. Has a lot of texture to it. This is really like just like a masterpiece here. And here we go. Done. Oh, it's not done. Ah, I fucked up. What I like to do is just rain this all over it. And I just put all the flowers and I want to cover them because they're so pretty. What should I do? Should I take the flowers off and like redo it? I'm gonna do that real quick. <laughs> They're like, that bitch just spent five minutes decorating this goddamn thing, and it was looks so pretty. But look, I, I can redo it, don't worry guys, it's not a big deal. And now we're gonna decorate it with these little flowers on top. Now the moment of truth, Virginia's gotta eat it. Come on, Virginia, get in here, you're gonna have a bite of it with me. Come on, you went in the garden, you have to eat it now, come on. 
You can put some of this on it. Cheers. Boop. Look how small her bite was compared to mine, by the way. Mm -hmm. okay. It's really light, it's crunchy, it's cheesy. You can taste the squash in there too, but all this like other stuff is just really good. The lemoniness, there's like a lot of lemon in there. You taste the lemon. It's good. This is like a like, nice little perfect kind of summer casserole. So this recipe and more, click the link in the description below. Don't forget to share it. Hashtag cook munchies, all that good stuff. Am I right? Yeah. Hope your summer's not as rainy as today. <laughs>